Alright guys, we just got this $400 piece of crap Yurf Dog go-kart back together just in time to take it on this camping trip up to Brent's property. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how we got it back to this point. So some things we gotta get done, some parts we got in. Uh, first thing, we got a set of harnesses. Uh, I gotta work on getting the seats back in. Got in our new ball joints. Look much nicer. We are getting new spindles. Um, so waiting on those to come in. Getting new uh, tie rods. And I also got new bearings for these. So I was having a hard time getting this snap ring off. I got this one off. Now I just gotta get the actual bearings out. We're gonna work on getting the rest of the front suspension on the left side, or I guess the passenger side taken off. That way we start getting the new stuff on. Now we want our spindles go in bolt it all up real quick. I probably if you need to clean out the carburetor, as you can see right now, when I go to start it up. Kind of sputters out, so it wants to run. I'm not gonna run it right now because I got the garage door closed, but see it wants to run. Um, I also think it doesn't like cold weather, which might be a problem if I know, but uh, probably just needs a carb clean and it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing this video. It's a way to do everything. It may not be the right way, but it's a way to do it. So, um, like I said, you can see how he tried to do some cheap repairs and not the greatest welder there's a lot of slag going on there but uh yeah wheel does not want to let go of that lug nut right there for some reason so i have to get that out somehow when in doubt hack it off useless with our new shocks. So they're gone. Still need to clean up all that extra metal that's on there now. Brought to you by Miller. And Miller. This is super, super exciting stuff right here. Mm -hmm. that we're taking care of. We're moving. This. That way we can get the seats mounted back in. Nice and crusty. So yeah. So we're gonna keep running two seats for now. Eventually rework the brackets and switch the gas pedal to this side. Move this bar. Probably shorten where that brake pedal is. Move this bar in between there. Bring the gas pedal over here. That way you still have a place to rest your foot. Um, but, uh, you can also get over the brake over there, but you will be doing like a two foot operation. So one for gas, one for brake. I thought about trying to move the brake to where the gas is, but as you can see over there where the master cylinder is, where it's mounted, I wouldn't be able to run that through here. And I'd basically be drilling a hole, making my own. It just wouldn't work the greatest. So we're going to go ahead and leave the brake over there because it's still easy to get at. I kind of mocked it up roughly sitting in the seat. It'll do all right. Ooh, kill shot. We turned it sideways, kill shot. It's a kill shot! Where'd he go? Oh, there he is, Dad. right there. Shit works. Very nice. Bug assault, huh? <laughs> Get it. Appropriate time. All right, so that's not the right way to do that. But it's a way to do that. <laughs> so this is why it was so difficult. You can see how much barrel you have there. 
and that bead is just making so much contact there, whereas this side was so much easier to slip off because there's just that much. So, yeah, that was uh, a lot of effort. The wheel damage, you know? No, it looks perfectly fine. Okay, now we just gotta put them all back on. <gasps> Sure, that's the direction it needs to go. Correct. Yeah, this is the stem. Okay. This is the stem which we want on the outside of the wheel. Huh? And right. this is the direction we want it to roll. Sorry, dude. Like we're right there. Just step on it. Okay, three down, one to go. Oh shit, that's the wrong question. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem now. Hey, let's fucking go. Oh, my back. Oh. So, for these, so for those of you watching at home, this sucks, but it is possible. Pittsburgh fry set is essential. Dude, look at how just destroyed. That's the only thing with like black coated tools. I'm like, oh, oh, whoops. That doesn't matter. They're probably Looks better than the screwdriver though. Yeah. They're super cheap. Alright, so. Keep watching, we're gonna go over to. Game yeah. Oh, it doesn't look like. Yeah, it looks like. It's on both of you. Huh. Oh. So, uh. You don't always have to be the star attention. That's She's not what I'm saying. It just like, felt Paul. like it wasn't even in the frame. <laughs> Paul, you do it. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> Check out. No. Um, no, Vinny can do it. Alright, alright, alright. All right, so tomorrow we're gonna go over to Brent's and light these on fire and uh, get them to bead properly. And then also, finally, just this gets me all over. Get that bad boy straightened out because it is bent in, so it wrong wheel, wrong wheel. It don't go in. And the best part is Brent doesn't know we're coming over yet. Yeah. So we're gonna show up, hog tie him, and then beat the shit out of him. Make your kidnap and go right. Yep. Sorry, Jelly. Hope you didn't have plans. What's up, Bear? Alrighty, so we got this uh, carb off of the, uh, the go kart. And uh, just kind of getting some fuel out of it right now. I think one of the jets are clogged because we can get it to start to run, but it won't stay running. So we're just going to take it apart, hit it with some carb cleaner, throw it back together, and pop it back in. Uh, the other main thing, obviously, you saw Paul and I. Doing all the tires yesterday. So now we're at Brent's because he's the only one who has an air compressor. We literally have, where is it? <laughs> the M12, <laughs> the little M12 Milwaukee air compressor. So we're gonna try and set the beads with that and probably a little starter fluid and a match. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we got two of the bearings pressed out right now. So I'm just gonna clean up the inside. Uh, pressing the new bearings. Vinny's over here just putting the car back together. You got all the jets cleaned up. Uh, the inside was pretty filthy, wouldn't you say? Yeah, there's like this weird corrosive gunk. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know what it was, but it was it, like green, it, almost it, like it a mildew like, mold. Yeah, it looked like how like when copper pennies mm. corrode. That's what it looked like. So got all that cleaned off. Got the whole thing cleaned out. Um, we did do something that's probably not the right fix. This uh, this broke on us, the gasket for the bowl. So we used some gasket maker. That could bite us in the ass. I don't know if gasoline will eat through this. 
Either way, we don't have time to yeah. wait. <laughs> we don't we don't have time to wait for that gasket before next weekend, so we might just be bleeding fuel the whole weekend, but as long as the float somewhat works and we can ride it, we'll be fine and we'll fix it later, and then I'll have a nightmare scraping all the gasket out of there, or gasket maker, so. We'll just keep a, uh, a fire extinguisher handy in case we catch on fire. Yeah, good call. So. And we epically have failed at setting the tire beads. I don't know what we're doing wrong. Anytime we pump it full of brake clean, carb cleaner, any type of flammable substance, the, the bead's not setting. It's just slowly dis, just lighting on fire like a disappointment. So we're still waiting on that. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, just a, it's a disappointment like I am to my father. <laughs> Just kidding, Mike. <laughs> Cut me on the Got it back together. Got our new fuel filter on there. So now I'm gonna go get some fresh gas, not the stuff that I drained out, and uh, run it through and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, no. Don't you think you're better off where the neighbors don't stay, baby? Alright, well now we got it mostly back together. We're gonna go ahead and try and start it up. Seems pretty good. So now I'm just waiting on a new air filter that I got instead of this big bulky one that it came with. And then um, literally just waiting on the spindles in the front and tie rods. That's what's holding up this entire thing. Otherwise, I'd be able to slap it all together and drive it today. But we'll get there. Well, we have officially determined that using gasket maker is not a good idea. So don't do that. Um, so yeah, so I went on Amazon and they have this. So they have this whole carburetor, that intake piece, and an air filter for like 30 bucks, like 29.99, something like that. And uh, it's getting shipped here overnight, so it should be here tomorrow. So don't try using gasket maker. You can buy a super cheap carburetor. I'm gonna try and find a rebuild kit, see if I can link that, because obviously that would be the cheapest option, but this thing just started leaking. And I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it is just bubbling, so. I think it just blew through the gasket maker, absolutely destroyed it, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get a new one thrown in there. But uh, until then, which is gonna be tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheels back on because we got these back from Discount Tire. Uh, they went ahead and got them on for us. Um, we weren't able to get them to bead, but Discount was able to get them on for us. So let's slap these bad boys on real quick.
gives us a longer throttle set um, or I forget exactly what this is but anyways it lets you mess with the idle um, or how much fuel is going through so that's nice it's extended out um, it's got all the actual tubes routed to the right spots um, so as far as the breathing we're good as all the electrical and this plus an air filter plus the intake actually into the cylinder all comes with this for 30 bucks. So I did find a rebuild kit, which is like $8.99, or you can get a whole new carburetor for 30 bucks. So it's up to you what you want to do, but I think this is a pretty good price for a whole new carburetor. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thrown in. Alrighty, so I can see fuel running through. Let's just talk about how easy that battery operated nozzle has Freaking made this. <laughs> love this thing. So, another thing we'll put in the description, Amazon. This is like one of my favorite things I've found. Um, it's weird though, because every time I think the batteries are dead and it doesn't want to pump, I just like roll the batteries and then it wants to work again. But like, we used this all last winter in the cold ass UP in like, you know, negative degree weather. Same batteries? Yeah, same batteries. So it's finicky. It works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes, but I can always get it to work. But it's so much easier than lifting the jug. Totally worth it. I was gonna say, you gotta be primed. Look at that! Brand new carburetor, purrs like a kid. Let's go! Look at this bad boy. So, we got some fresh snow, and uh, I got the steering to work. Pretty ghetto. Don't have the new knuckles that I want, but I just ended up drilling new holes there and there to be able to get the steering to actually work. That was a pain in the butt. Still need to make an adjustment on the front suspension. Um, but ultimately, got all this back together. Got our super ghetto rigged air filter in there. And uh, let's go ahead and take this thing for a rip. So I'm gonna go get the helmet on, throw the GoPro, and uh, take it for a drive. successful drive. 
If you're not up to date on how we got it to this point, I'll go ahead and put it right here. Go ahead and check that video out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see this thing when we take it off-roading and go camping out in the woods in the winter in the hammocks. You stole my heart of gold after my silver soul.